So right around this time last year, I went on a fishing trip with native anglers, and it was one of the most productive lingcod fishing trips I've ever been on. Uh, it was one of those days where just all the conditions lined up, and anything we threw down there was getting hammered by nice quality lingcod. So I had a buddy come into town, and he wanted to get on some lingcod action, so I thought best chances would be to get out with native anglers again and see what we could do. So. The wind was a little bit bad, so I apologize for that, but let's get right into the action. Here we go. Good start. Pound. Thank you. Okay. I think so. Uh, no, oh no, I think that's four ounce. And then there's six ounces, though. There's bigger ones that are six ounces. So unfortunately the conditions were tough this day. As you can see it was super calm but we just weren't getting a good drift so we couldn't get that boat drifting over some good quality rocks with those link cut holding. Uh, I did catch a few nice keepers right at the beginning of the day there and my buddy Ty caught a nice keeper here with a gaff worm but just wasn't a wide open bite like previous years. But while the conditions were tough for fishing I decided to drop down my underwater camera and see what I could find see if we could see what was going on down there and it's kind of hard to see what was happening just by looking at these clips you know you see all kinds of fish up and down the water column swimming all around the camera but I'll just let you listen in to the footage see if you can see what's going on So yeah, as you could hear, I mean, those fish were just destroying the camera. They were just attacking it all the way down. And especially when it got into a big school like that last clip, they were just hitting it nonstop. Uh, they said were just kind of competing with each other, trying to get that bait first. But another cool thing that happened was when I dropped this camera down to the bottom, I kind of figured out why the bite was pretty slow. You know, as you can see here, most of these clips, there is a few rocks, but it was pretty sandy for the most part. So I think that might play a factor as to why we weren't catching as many lingcod at this point. All right guys, it's always a fun trip to get out with native anglers. So if you want to get out on a trip with him, I think he's pretty booked for the rest of this lingcod season, but hey, give it a shot. And uh, if not, there's always next season too. So I'll leave his information linked in the description below. 
But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get to the cooking portion of this, which is probably what you guys have all been waiting for. And uh, we're gonna have some breakfast. It's actually the next morning now. And uh, what are you gonna have for breakfast? Well, of course, we're gonna cook up the fish. We're actually gonna cook the Lincoln cheeks, just because, uh, I don't know, so I feel like it's a good snack for breakfast. But we're also gonna have something else to add to it. And if you're a viewer of this channel, you can probably guess what that is. So I'm no chef, but I do have bacon. 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 So what we've done before is that before I wrapped up the fish in bacon and cooked it, but this time I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna fry up the bacon first and then cook the lingka cheeks in that bacon fat that uh, comes out when you cook the bacon. So let's go ahead and do it now, see how it turns out. All right guys, we got our pan nice and hot. And we're just gonna throw in the bacon here. This shouldn't take long, probably about five minutes or so. So this is thick cut applewood smoked bacon. And I'm no bacon expert, but I prefer thick cut. All right, go ahead and flip it. All right, that's probably good. Those are done. Now we do the link cod cheeks. So these guys, I seasoned them already. And basically they're just seasoned in salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So these should cook up pretty quick as well. Hopefully the bacon juices just kind of give it a nice bacony flavor. Going in for the flip. Okay, I think these are nice and cooked now. All right, time to eat. So we got our ling cod cheeks here, one, two, and then our two pieces of bacon. This is gonna be a hearty breakfast. I'm not sure what I should take a bite of first, the bacon or the uh, ling cod. But uh, let's take, let's try the ling cod first. So let me give you a little view here. There's the ling cod cheek, cooked to perfection. Let's see if it'll, yeah, there it goes. The ling cod cheek cooked to perfection. And it's dripping with, I don't know if it's bacon fat or fish juice, or whatever it is, I gotta eat it. Hmm. You can see that inside there. I've said before, the ling cod cheeks, they have a little bit different texture than the rest of the meat, which is why a lot of people like these even more than the rest of the meat even though there's not much, obviously not much yield to it, but really good flavor. I don't know if cooking in bacon fat makes that much of a difference, but it does give it a slight hint of bacon flavor, which can't go wrong with bacon, obviously. We'll follow it up with a slice of bacon as a chaser. We're eating good today. And we'll add a nice cup of apple juice to complete the breakfast here. So if you made this far in the video, you're probably slightly confused with how we got here. But basically, I heard from a friend that ling cod or cod in general has the lowest fat content in terms of fish. Um, so it can be one of the healthiest now. I, I feel like healthiest just the word healthy is means different things to different people, different doctors, and I'm no doctor myself, so I can't say for sure. But I can't say that it tastes good. And I'm not sure that when they did this calculation of which has more fat that they factored in the fact that I cooked it in bacon, but 
one thing I can guarantee is that this is a really good breakfast. I pay good money in the restaurant for this. That's going to wrap it up for me here. Make sure to check out Native, Native Anglers if you're looking to get on a trip with him. He's actually giving slash raffling off way one of his boats currently. So I think that's in the works. I'm not exactly sure when the drawing's going to happen or when the tickets are going to start being on sale. But follow him on Instagram if you want to stay up to date with that. Yet another Dire Fish and Catch and Cook with bacon included, obviously. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.